Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pathway. We're in our final part of the journey towards the wrath of God and let's see what we are encountering. Let's check out the map first. We have some events here. There is the final destination. Here's another guy that we could free, I guess. And there is a shop on the way. So we will take a left. Oh, we only have four fuel left. That is bad. The footprints that led you to the interior of the deserted temple and suddenly in front of you, the lifeless bodies of several soldiers lie in pools of their own blood on the paving stones in front of a massive altar. The corpses are strangely entorted, as if transfixed in a final prayer to a nameless deity. Suspiciously, you look around. You soon discover small holes in the stone slabs. The soldiers triggered an ancient trap. Natalia climbs in, uh, up onto a stone sarcophagus and cranes the neck. That indentation on the altar. I can't tell exactly what, but there's something in there. So we can try to avoid triggering the trap, tiptoe past the trap, because we have a shadow guy, improvise, because we have a daredevil, and it's kind of the opposite, or we just continue our journey. Let's tiptoe past the trap. With a cat-like grace, Baron glides over the flagstone on tiptoe. He's a pro, look at that. Baron soon reaches the altar. He grabs the treasures that lie in the depression and returns to you in the same manner. And we found an amazing onyx ring for 210. Let's take it. Wow, we have 4,000 bucks. And on with the journey. You are probably the first people in many years to set foot in this deserted place. The desert sand has left little more than a few crumbling walls. Mm, very nice. Nothing special. You come across some crumbling ruins, possibly a long abandoned caravansary. The desert... I really need to learn how to spell that word. Uh, like how to say that word. The desert wind and the scorching heat have not been kind to the blasted buildings. In the overgrown quartet, you find a dried up well. You discover some rough steps that lead down in the well shaft. The sand around the well has been churned by numerous footprints. Climb down, we're adventurous. And hopefully we find some fuel. The mysterious well has triggered your interest. Without further ado, you climb down the stone's protrusions that are <laughs> built into the side of the well. After wandering the underground tunnels, you see the glow of several torches flickering on the walls of the vault ahead of you. Soon you hear loud menacing voices. You peer carefully around the corner to see a large group of German soldiers. In the middle of the group stands a prisoner who has been questioned aggressively by the soldiers. I have a déjà vu, I think we had the story before. They are so engrossed with the interrogation that they do not notice you. You pause to decide what to do. We can open fire, we can free the prisoner, or we can distract the soldiers. We will free the prisoner. It's a bold plan, but it might just work. The Baron, again, dashes forward from cover to cover until he finally reaches the prisoner. You see Baron cut the bonds around the captive's ankles. Baron returns triumphantly with the prisoner. You disappear before the soldiers notice the thing. You release the prisoner from his bonds and he shakes your hands effusively. Pereira. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Things have would have gone badly without you. Hey, you look like you could use some help. I don't suppose you have room for another passenger. Actually, we don't. Well, let's check it out. Another shotgun guy. We already got our shotgun guy. Uh, Omar. And I think we will stick to him. Yeah. He started the adventure. You will end the adventure with us. I'm sorry. Enjoy. So, um, let's continue. Not far from the path, a mishap black option looms out of the sand. It appears to be a huge obsidian block of natural origin, hurled here by a volcanic eruption many eons ago. You see the menacing silhouette of the Mount Zyphon volcano in the distance. You feel tiny and vulnerable in the face of such timeless vastness. You set off again soon afterwards. 
So we are running out of fuel. We really need fuel. As you drive around the next dune, you meet a fully loaded Wehrmacht truck. That looks like fuel to me. Coming the other way. The truck makes a tight U-turn in a frenetic attempt to escape. Um, yeah, let's be a daredevil and take up the chase. You put your foot down and race after the escaping soldiers. You continue to close the distance until you are finally neck to neck with the Germans. Without a second thought, Jackson leaps from your speeding jeep into the enemy vehicle, grabbing the driver's wheel. I think we are all back into uh, Indiana Jones territory. That reminds me on the, the, the jeep chase of in the desert in Indiana Jones. Great movie. A desperate struggle ensues and a few moments later Jackson is thrown headfirst into the desert sands. You hit the brakes to check on Jackson. Yeah, that didn't work well, I guess. As the Germans escape, you see Jackson stagger to his feet, bruised and bothered, but otherwise unharmed. He limps over to you with a rueful grin. Jackson, probably not one, <laughs> yeah, probably not one of my better ideas, I guess so. As you help Jackson to his feet, you notice that the German truck lost several supply crates on its wide ride. Yeah, hopefully. Some fuel. We got fuel. And other stuff. We only need the fuel. And I hope we can buy more fuel in the shop. <laughs> we barely made it to the shop. I think when you run out of fuel, you just wait and you will be attacked or something. There is The game is not over. The village is in a state of great excitement due to the arrival of a traveling merchant. The merchant waves you over and spreads his wares out in front of you. So let's trade and get all the fuel that we can. Else, we already have the, um, the syringe. Um, no. I think we forgot to... To give him the new set. And Omar has the bulletproof vest, the safari, the armor. And she's wearing a light armor. What's that? Medium armor. It's perfect for our friend here. And the friend here, I guess. No, it's light armor. Okay, let's get the leather jacket to him. <laughs> I approve, kid. Thanks, Jackson. Okay, let's continue our journey. We're done here. And a battle awaits. As you turn a corner, you come face to face with a unit of German soldiers that are camped here. They spot you immediately. Loud orders ring out and soldiers rush frenetically to seize their weapons. Use the few moments to ha you have left to dive for cover. Moments later, you are engaged in a desperate battle for survival. Wow, we have a brute with us. I never, never ever used that one. So let's do it. Brute. Attack! With a ferocious battle cry, Omar plunges into the fray, trading blows left and right. In moments, a handful of German soldiers lie unconscious in the ground. The rest of the soldiers take cover and open fire. Oh, we knocked somebody out. Omar, you are a genius. A brute genius. No. So, how many are left? Two, three, four, four. Good job, Omar, I guess. So, we have Jackson. We have our sniper. It's up here. And we have our brute, Omar. Who takes cover here as well? So, we should have probably. Switch those two. Woof woof. So, what we can do is we can use the burst fire to fire off these two. And we missed the doggy, which is no problem because we have a shotgun guy running around here with his shotgun loaded and. It always hurts. I don't know. Poor animals. Hmm. So. And Natalia. 
Where do you go? Hmm, nowhere. You stay there. I mean, it's a um, shock trooper. They need to get close anyways. So. Wow. Okay. Check. Now we can't. We can walk closer. From here, we can shoot the dog. And from here, we can shoot the shock trooper. But I think I remember out of my last encounter with them, this is usually not going well. Because they are... They have a lot of armor. So the shotgun out of the distance doesn't do any damage. But what we can do is we can repair his armor. And he doesn't shoot him. Oh, I should have laid an overwatch. Anyways, we continue. Nope. Yeah, not much damage, my friend. Okay, it's knife time. Oh, bye. Oh, we have so much ammunition, we can just recharge everything. Reload, I mean. So, let's see what we got here. One fuel. But with the other fuel, I think that's okay. Do we have anything else? Painkillers. Are they better than... Our syringe. Check it out. No, it's not better than a syringe. We haven't had an upgrade for some time. As you are asking one of the villagers for direction, you suddenly hear a familiar voice calling to you. Miguel, hey, get me out of here. You look around and see Miguel waving desperately from the barred window of his prison cell. Miguel, what happened? No idea. One moment I have a drink and the next thing I wake up here. <laughs> Angry man. He got blind drunk and started smashing up our inn. Yeah, that sounds like a brute mice uh, uh, as well. Let's check on the man. Because we have a medical expert with us. Natalia carefully examines the man's swollen cheek. What have we here? An infected tooth. The angry man, the pain is so bad, I haven't slept for days. I can totally f feel with this guy. I just recently had a dentist appointment. So, <laughs> um, yeah, Natalia would work for me as well. Without further ado, Natalia reaches for a pair, a pair of pliers. When the man sees the rotten tooth in the pliers, his face lights up. He, she just pulled it out. Oof. Tough guy. Maybe I could meet you halfway. So, what do we have? I never ever saw Miguel. Miguel Ignacio Caballero, Spanish Civil War poet. Mm, warning shots. He's a grenade expert, which we don't have yet. But he's only tier 1, so... If we recruit him, we need to kick somebody, yeah. I don't want to kick anybody. I'm happy with my team. They're doing a good job so far. The wooden bridge of the gurgling mountain torrent looks far from trustworthy. But if the Germans made it, you guess you too will survive the crossing. The bridge creaks and sways menacingly as you reach the middle. It sags by a few more inches. With your heart in your mouth, you reach the other side without further incident. A badly head. You are not sure whether the desert bunker is still occupied, so you carefully sneak closer. Upon close inspection, the structure looks abandoned. Then you hear whispering sounds behind you and you realize you are not alone. Oh, and battle right away. Wow. <laughs> wow, that doesn't... Oh yeah, we got, uh, we got more zombies incoming. And we are like right where the battles are. But okay. We will manage, I'm sure. How far can he walk? We can't look this up during the... We will just do that. Because they they don't have any... Oh, what, what is that? A spore bearer. We have an infected. 
Um, there's the cultist. And another cultist. So, what to do? So, I sneak up here. Oh no, the first one, I can't do anything. Okay. Anyways. Natalia, she can heal herself. That's good. So, we have a lot of things here. We can just use this and these. I mean, if they move, will hurt. Okay, we got one zombie. Oh, way. They're exploding. So, the fact that three are exploding. I mean, like, probably like terminal stage or something. Ah, he took the bullet. Yeah. Wow. There was one right around the corner and he threw it on this guy. Okay. Oh. Jesus, they have reach. This poor guy here. Really good throwing. So I run over here and we'll just knife this guy down. Because this is what Jackson is good at. Oh. Not good enough. 46. Okay. What to do? So, we got the infected here. If we shoot this guy, we have 100% chance of hitting him. Let's do this. Wow. They have health. They have a lot of health. Let's go here. This guy. We take the shot. And he dies. So where's the spore bearer? There, there's no other zombie here. So let's give him the rest. Bye bye. Oh, I want to use the knife, but okay, it works as well. Oh man. Whoa. What the heck? These zombies. Okay, so we have this poor bearer. 100% chance on this guy. And yeah. So this young girl will save herself and heal a little. While this guy will take them out. That worked, but wasn't as easy as I thought. Like these exploding zombies can really do some damage. We got another disintegrator, gunpowder. And ancient coins. Another battle ahead. The temple in front of you looks desolated, desolate and deserted. It only takes you a few moments to get past the entrance. After looking around for a while, you finally make it to the altar room. Suddenly you are ambushed by a unit of German soldiers who have been following you unnoticed. So, oh. sneaky Germans. There's one. Yeah, he was super sneaky. But I, I don't think he can get through here. But he can probably shoot through here. Mm -hmm. Here. Jackson. You can shoot from here. You can shoot from here. And you can shoot from here. I think I only have one per person, but that might be enough. We, oui. this shock trooper takes a punch, but not enough. There we go. That was 
Well done, my friend. Well done. So, this guy never shoots. So, we do overwatch on this. And call it round. Yeah, they are always hiding. So, while we are hiding, just go in here, make him in here, and shoot him. And with this dude, we will start repairing some armor. Not even trying to shoot. I don't know if they can shoot. And another piece of armor. Simulate. And he. Yes. Check if he shoots. Yeah. And. Oh, he can't. But anyways, like, I, I think he's quite safe. If they could do any damage, these officers, they probably would have done that at some point. Wow, they can do damage. I'm impressed. Okay. Now that we found this out, quickly heal this guy a little bit. This repair kit seems to be empty, but okay. And then let's give him the rest. My thing. Goodbye, soldier, uh, officer, I mean. And good work, Jackson. We haven't used our weapons much. And so let's check quickly. Oh yeah, I think it's a it's a good point in time to take a quick break and then continue our last last miles the next session. Enjoy your day and see you like next episode, which is probably in a few minutes. So <laughs> enjoy. Bye bye.